the intercession is at Iglesia Brook Methodist Chapel uh, graveyard where he's buried the uh, founder co-founder of the primitive Methodists Hugh Bourne who along with William Close uh, started this wonderful wonderful work of God two very godly men who place great emphasis upon holiness and the scriptures and would take would have camp meetings would have meetings out in the open and it is a marvelous work that that they they began but that was lost when it was joined in with the other parts of Methodism in the 1930s and this intercession is regarding the restoration of this wonderful mantle of, of Hugh Bourne for Cheshire and Staffordshire the primitive Methodist restoration Psalm 51 and verse 12 Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit just, just check where yeah, 424 yes Ephesians chapter 4 and the 24th verse and that ye put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. Two Thessalonians chapter 1 and verse 11. Wherefore also we pray always for you that our God would count you worthy of his calling and fulfill all the good pleasure of his goodness and the work of faith with power O oh God you are the Holy God Father, Son and Holy Ghost and it is with fear and reverence of thyself they stand in this place this place where one of your great servants of the past has found the resting place for his earthly body they know that he is now in the glory with thyself and the work which he founded along with William Close has gone far far away from that which he would have known a man who walked with God a man who knew what it was to be filled with God and a man who would have manifested the very life and presence of God in Jesus Christ. Now, O oh God, where are these men like you born in these days? And including men I include women too men and women filled with God set apart for thee in the midst of a sinful world a rebellious world in the midst of an apostate church 
apostate Christianity. Would you born have recognized the Methodism of today? Oh God, I stand here and call upon thee and challenge thee. I stand in the gap before thee for the restoration, not just to Methodism, but throughout all those denominations, all oh, those churches and chapels which were once filled with men and women set apart for thyself filled with the Holy Ghost and with fire that these primitive Methodists were called ranters where is the ranting today? not that which is of the charismatic movement of the emerging church that which is satanic that which is of the Antichrist but of pure holiness men and women so on fire for thee because it's the Holy Ghost and with fire within them fire in their bellies and fire which will reach out into not just Cheshire and Staffordshire but throughout the whole wide world the whole world for Jesus every creature to be reached for him because oh God there are souls lost souls who you born would have given himself completely that they would have heard the glorious gospel of redemption and would have heard of hell itself that the, the message would have gone out about hell about being cut off from thee forever but O oh God in thy mercy bring forgiveness O oh God to repentant sinners but they must know that they are they're sinners in the first place send thy Holy Ghost down in fire to convict hell bound sinners of sin and having turned to thyself through repentance and being forgiven through the cleansing of the blood of the Lord Jesus that there will be that hungering and thirsting after thee O God to be filled and filled and filled with God to live for God and to live in this world as those who have God himself living and moving and acting through their bodies which have become the bodies, the temples of the Holy Ghost. Thank thee, O God, that you have heard this prayer made as in the corridors of power before the throne of the Almighty praise the O oh God that the challenge has gone out to you and because of thy word the words of the Lord Jesus if ye abide in me and my words abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you and because of those words and because of the authority behind those words of God the Son then you have heard and you cannot fail and you will not fail because through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ you have destroyed 
the principalities and powers of darkness of the Antichrist which took away that movement of the holiness of the pre-Methodists and the mantle has now been restored for thy glory and thy glory alone. Amen.